delighted to be in Chicago at ASCO with my neighbor in Arizona, Dr. Barbara Puchkai. We could do a whole interview on how you get Puchkai out of the spelling of your name, but we'll leave that for another time. Um, let's talk about your work in triple negative breast cancer that you've got presenting here at this conference. Sure. Uh, today, or Tuesday, we're going to present our work with Keras uh, Life Sciences. Uh, looking at triple negative breast cancer. As we can see here at this meeting, there's a big push to immunotherapy, and this is due to game-changing drugs that are now available. We wanted to know, can we look do the same thing for breast cancer? And it's not really been evaluated. So we looked at a number of breast cancer patients, and in particular, triple negative breast cancers. These patients are the hardest to treat. They have no targets that we know of. Thus, we went ahead to see if indeed these patients may benefit from immunotherapy. What we found was that a subset of patients who have triple negative breast cancer express PDL1, or that's programmed death ligand 1. It has been shown that those patients who express PDL1 are responsive to immunotherapy, and that's really quite exciting. It's created a bit of a buzz, PDL1 here. It has, it has. I think it is a game changer with immunotherapy. It has shown dramatic responses in melanoma and renal cell, and we expect that. But really what we had also found is it also had responses in lung cancer. We've never seen that in lung cancer, so it's really a game changer. If we can then take this and move it to breast cancer, especially in these difficult to treat breast cancers, it would be amazing. So how can oncologists use this and other data in molecular profiling and other ways to enhance treatment options for these patients? Well, I, I think hopefully in the future we're going to use this all the time. Currently we're still in the um, evolution of what we're learning. Um, I think in the future we are going to take a patient's tumor, send it for staining, seeing what it stains for, and then direct the therapy specifically for that patient. In terms of your data with others in immunotherapy here at this conference, how does it fit in? How do they complement each other? How are they different? Well, I, I think it actually fits in very nicely. Uh, others have shown that PDL1, just a few small reports, have shown that PDL1 is actually expressed in breast cancer. Others have shown that PDL1 therapy or anti-PDL1 therapy really has great responses. So I think I'm quite hopeful. The one thing we have shown that others have not shown, which is pretty exciting, is there may be an association with PDL1 expression and BRCA1 mutation. If that's the case, then these BRCA1 mutated patients would be the best, best served by immunotherapy. And that would really be a new option for these patients. Very good. Congratulations. Thanks for uh, stopping by, and I'll see you when we get home. Thank you. Okay. okay.